Hello friends. In today's video, we'll see what is mean by updating a network. While updating a network, what are its requirements and what is the importance? All will be covered in this particular video. This will be the content of this video: the introduction, updating process, data required for updating. Steps in the process of updating and example of updating. Okay, now starting with the introduction. What do you mean by updating? Based on the process of the work and the revised calculations or the duration of unfinished activities due to delays, the network diagram has to be redrawn, and this process is known as updating. Whenever we are performing some task, or in the construction field also, because of delays caused out of unavoidable circumstances, we have to go for redrawing your network. It means rescheduling. This process is known as updating a network. Controlling is complementary to the planning. Whenever we plan something, we have to control it. Control over the process of work has to be exercised in order to complete the work by the stipulated date. So control involves comparing at regular intervals and actual achievement with the original plans, and then taking and necessary corrective actions to bring. Things back to the schedule. When delay happens, we have to take some corrective measures so that that delay can be overcome and the future activities will be on track. It requires upward flow of information through a suitable design reporting system, and the information so fit is analyzed and the project plan is brought up to the date with necessary variations to keep performance as per the schedule so in this situation what can be done we can increase the resources so that the duration of the project will back on the track for example activity b is delayed by 4 days so if the float is not available and that activity is a critical activity so in this situation we can increase the number of resources and the future activities can be taken under control the main part is updating process how we go for updating and what is the process involved in it the process of replanting and rescheduling based on the results which serve a guidance for decision by performing calculation made by taking into consideration the new knowledge and latest information at an intermediate stage of the project thus modifying the original network is known as process of updating for example if project is going on and so new technique is introduced so this new technique we have to introduce in a project so that the delays or the speed of the work will get motivated so such situation or some new equipment coming to the market so we can use that particular equipment the process of changing the original network and reconstructing is known as process of updating process of implementing the plan according to the network we may come across the following possibility now first is some or all activities are progressing according to the schedule sometimes it may happen ki all the activities are up to the schedule then some or all activities are ahead of schedule or project is going ahead of schedule and some or all activities are behind the schedule these are the three possibilities which may happen in any construction project what data we required for updating if i have to update my network or the project then what data 
be required. The first is we require original work or the original network which has been sanctioned before starting of the project. Then we require original network calculation chart. It means we require all the floats calculation, the cost of calculation, and the duration of the project, critical path, all data we require. Stage at which updating is being done, that is a point in time of updating. So we require the exact point at which the updating is done or where we should update it. Then execution position of the project at the stage as the stage of updating what is the actual position execution position of the project for example if we are constructing g plus 10 building so fifth slab is been constructed and now we are updating the schedule so that exact time and the execution stage we should know then new information and knowledge which will affect the duration time of the activities to be performed. Then we require the new information or new technique which we are using and because of which the following activities will get hampered. So some activities may be required less duration because of new technology or some activities may require more duration or more resources. So that updated information we should be knowing at the timing of updating it. Now the actual steps in the process of updating. So first is describe. Now the point in time at which updating is to be done according to the original plan. That is your description. So as per the original plan, this is the time. Now we have to update it. Then record what has happened actually till the updating point all this record we have to maintain then summarize so the knowledge attending in the tabulated form as given below this table we have to use the actual form of this and we have to fill all the necessary data in this form like the activities going on whether completed or not if yes or no if yes the time taken to complete that particular activity then if in progress so additional time required for the completer completion of that particular activity then completion required for activities yes to begin so all this data we have to fill in this particular form for all the activities performed and which we have to perform in future next place the information contained in the updating table onto the, the original network this is done by assigning the time of update as the earliest occurrence time for the tail event of the project then allotting a zero time duration for all activities which have been completed so while updating it we have to allot zero duration for all the activities which has been completed initially then entering the remaining estimated duration of those activities which are in progress and suppose a b c b and c activities are in progress then we have to maintain and enter the estimated time of that activities then entering the estimated durations based on new knowledge of activities which are still to be commenced so in future which activity we have to be commenced so enter the estimate duration of that activities also then perform now actual performing so calculation of earliest occurrence time that is esd and the latest occurrence time lsd and mark this on the network known as updated network so after doing all this previous activities given as zero duration which are completed the ongoing activities with the estimated time and the activities which are remaining so we have to calculate their time also and then we have to 
calculate new ESBI LSD for each activity. Over here in flowchart, as you can see, so compare the progress to schedule if satisfactory, and likewise, we have to continue the flowchart. So, starting from your pre plan schedule project network, the issue in direction, execute the project. And project completion. So we have to reach to project completion phase. So if there are some problems, so we have to continue this flowchart. Then when to update now? What is the exact point when we have to go for updating? So we have to update for shorter duration projects. The updating must be done frequently by taking into account the latest position of execution of the project so if the project is short then we have to go for updating frequent so that we are up to date then for longer projects the process of updating must be increased as the project is progressing towards completion as we go towards the completion we have to increase the frequency of updating Duration of project goes on decreasing as project progresses and behaving more or less like a small duration project. So as we go further in longer project, it will start behaving as a smaller project. So we can update it frequently also. Then whenever there is major change in the duration of any of the activity, the updating is to be done. So compulsorily we go for updating. If any event can be done at a particular time or it will require more time and there is a large duration gap then we have to go for updating updating is essential if there is change in the estimated duration of any activity falling on the critical path this is a very must as we know critical path we cannot disturb if we disturb it the project duration will get disturbed so such time if the critical activity is getting delayed, we have to go for updating. If the duration of the critical activity increases, then remedial measures are necessary. And if the activity duration decreases, this may allow changes in the project plan, whichever not possible previously. So, if it is decreased also, then also we have to go for the change or updating in the network. Now, let us start with the example on updating. So, in this example, as we can see, the figure shows the network of a project which is to be updated at the end of 12 days. So, as you can see, this is the progress, and the total duration required is 29 days over here, as we can see, and we have to update it after 12 days. So after 12 days, somewhere here we have to update the network. So if we can see it in between before this fourth node, we have to update the project. So how it is done? So the first step, the following condition exists at the time of updating. Activity 1.4 was completed as originally planned because it is well before the Plan date before the 12 days activity 14 will get over. Then activity 13 was scheduled more rapidly than originally scheduled and it took 8 days for its completion. Now activity 34 commenced following the completion of activity 13 and was completed at the end of 11 days. It means 34 also get completed. Now activity 45 was commence following the completion of activity 3 and 4 that is at the end of 11 day and still requires 6 more days for its completion it means what activity 3 4 get completed at 11 day so activity 4 5 get started it means we have to update now 4 5 the completion of activity 1 2 was delayed drastically and it still requires 10 more days for its completion. So activity 
two and seven will commence following the completion of activity one two and will require nine days for its completion instead of six days originally estimated. As we are updating after twelve days, this will be four. The time required to perform activity five and eight. Has been devised based on the experience on the project. Grant to its point. It now required ten days in the place of six days originally estimated. So, depending upon the conditions on the project, the duration of the activities will get changed. We require extra time for the completion of that particular activity. And no other activities have been started. And the original time estimates for this activity still appear to be accurate. So, the other activities which are not yet started can be kept same so that there are no delays or the additional time for the particular activities. So, update the network and determine the revised critical path. So, after this, we have to update the network, and all this information we have to fill in this. Chart in which we can see what is the activity, then whether it is completed or not. So, in this case, as we have completed 1, 4, and 1, 3, so we can write down yes, the activities are completed. Then, the time taken for the completion we can write down if no, then they are in progress. So, if they are in progress, how much time they will require to complete it that we have to mention and the time required for the activity is to begin that also we have to mention in this particular format. So, in this video, we have seen how to update it, the process of updating a network and when to update it and what information and data we require to update that particular network. Thank you.